Welcome to Global Business Adverts. Please kindly subscribe as we will always bring you the latest news, updates, and gist. The Uni of IFA, Enetan Oganuzi, has described the comments made against him by the acclaimed Yoruba warlord, Sunday Adayamo, popularly known as Sunday Igboo, as irresponsible. In an exclusive telephone interview with Premium Times, Mr. Oganuzi, who spoke through his spokesman, Moses Olefair, said the palace was not ready to engage Mr. Adayamo formally on the matter but the issue of the threat of violence against the monarch would be handled appropriately. Mr. Adayamo, while taking part in a virtual town hall meeting on Wednesday morning with Nigerians in the diaspora, attacked some Southwest leaders including the former Lagos state governor, Bola Tainubu, Oyo state governor, Saime Kinda, and traditional rulers including the Oluwo of Iwo, Abdul Rashid Akanbai, and the Uni. He accused the UNIA of receiving dollars from President Muhammadu Buhari when he visited the presidential villa recently and condemned the monarch's comments while addressing the media at the villa. Sunday Igboo described the Yoruba leaders as lily-livered and called them Fulani slaves. He also threatened to open fire on them or visit and vandalize their properties. The monarch said no true Yoruba son or daughter would speak in such a manner as Mr. Adayamo has spoken saying his conduct and attitude cast doubt on his true intention in his self-saddled responsibility of defending the Yorubas. The UNI's spokesman, Mr. Olefair, said Mr. Adayamo was going overboard in his conduct and that he should not believe that he is bigger than the authorities. He said, we have not made any official statements on the matter and the matter does not really make any sense to us. If somebody who identifies himself with the cause of Yoruba could be talking in that manner about the Oni who is indisputably a spiritual head of the race, then one must wonder whether or not the person has been representing us truly. It gives room to people to suspect your motive. Mr. Olefair said for a man claiming to be defending a race to be attacking the same people you claim you are defending leaves much to be desired. Speaking on the allegation that the monarch collected money from the president, the spokesman said the allegation is not only irresponsible but also lacks substance. He made some very irresponsible allegations. You know when you make allegations that you cannot back up with evidence, that can only portray you as an irresponsible man. If you make unfounded allegations and then you want to use allegations to further justify your claims as the generalissimo of the race, it is up to the public. It's so unfortunate, if you say the Oni has collected money. I expected him to show evidence. You say he has collected dollars. Irresponsible allegation is irresponsible allegation if you cannot back up whatever you allege with acceptable evidence, Mr. Olefair said. Your claims as the generalissimo of the race, it is up to the public. It's so unfortunate, if you say the Oni has collected money, I expected him to show evidence. You say he has collected dollars. Irresponsible allegation is irresponsible allegation if you cannot back up whatever you allege with acceptable evidence, Mr. Olefair said. He added that the support of the people Mr. Adayamo is currently enjoying in his onslaught against some criminals that have infiltrated the Southwest is not out of the blues. He, however, cautioned him against reckless comments and allegations, saying they do not portray him as a cultured Yoruba man with moral values and virtues. If you're doing something and people are hailing you, I don't think you need to allow that credit to get into your head and start to misbehave. If you could open your mouth and call any such unprintable names that you called him, that shows the kind of Yoruba man that you are. I do not see any reason that will make me describe a bail, who is of lower rank on the traditional ruler's ranking, with such unprintable names. If I cannot do that to a bail, why should I say such a thing to an Uni? It's not good. It does not portray anybody as an Ormerli Arabi, as a man of Yoruba virtues and values. In any case, if you're fighting for the liberation of the people, this is a responsibility that is self-saddled, you choose to and for you to succeed, you need the same people that you're representing, otherwise you would not succeed. Is this the way you're going to get the support of the people you're representing when you start attacking the same people? People will back out, that is just it. Whether you like it or not, some people are following you because of that same uni. They will back out. On the threat of violence, Mr. Olefair said, well, he said that in a video that is well circulated and the video must have gotten to security agents who would see beyond what we are seeing. It is a threat to life if you say that if somebody is going, you're going to waylay that person and fire him. If you're bold enough to say that, 
To anybody not to talk of even an uni of IFA, I believe that security agents will see that as a threat to life. While we're not ready to report any matter to security agents, I believe that they will know what to do. Thank you for watching. If you will like more latest news, updates, and trending gist, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you get notifications anytime we post new videos. Also remember to like, share and leave a comment on this issue. Thank you.